Hello, and welcome to Grey Cap Knits. Today, I'll be showing you how to do a three needle bind off. Now, three needle bind offs are a way that you can join two pieces of fabric that both have live stitches together. And this is great for things like um, the tops of shoulder seams, like in this sweater, for example, it gives you a nice clean finish on the outside. Um, and it gives you some good structure on the inside. So it works great with cables. All right. So when you're doing your three needle bind off, you're going to want to make sure that the right sides of your fabric, so in this case, it's just a simple stockinette stitch, you'll wanna make sure that those are facing together and the wrong sides of your fabric are facing out. So you can see our purl bumps on the outside on both sides and our stockinette stitch is facing in. All right, now it doesn't matter which side your yarn is coming from. It'll work out perfectly either way. Uh, in this case, mine's coming from the front, but yours could be coming from the back and that would be fine too. The other important thing about a three needle bind off is that you need to have the same number of stitches on both needles. In this case, I have 13. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your needle knit wise through the first stitch on the front needle then you'll insert it knitwise through the first stitch on the back needle. You'll wrap your yarn around, pull it through just like a knit stitch, and push it off both needles. So again, you'll insert through the front needle, insert through the back needle, wrap your yarn, pull it through, and throw it off. Now you have two single stitches on your right hand needle. So just like with a regular bind off, what you're going to do is you'll pick up that first stitch on your needle and lift it over the second stitch. Now you just have one stitch on your needle. So then you'll insert your, your needle knitwise through the front needle, knitwise through the back needle, wrap your yarn, throw it off, and then you'll bind off one stitch. Again, through the front needle, through the back needle, throw the yarn, pull it off, and bind off one stitch. And after a while, uh, doing the three needle bind off will feel pretty similar to just doing a regular knit stitch. Um, you really get into a flow with it. Just remember to go through the front and the back, throw it around, throw it off, bind off. And once again in slow motion, through the front needle knitwise, through the back needle knitwise, wrap the yarn, pull it through, throw it off, insert one of your left needles into that second stitch, and pass it over the first stitch. And you'll just continue working until you reach the end of your stitches. So one last time, insert through the front stitch, insert through the back stitch, wrap your yarn, pull it through, and then insert your needle and pass that second stitch over. And then you can just finish it off the way you usually do. I just pull my ball of yarn through um, before I cut it and I pull it tight. And now you can see that when you open it on the front side, they've been joined together. You can definitely see a three needle bind off. It's not like using Kitchener stitch. It is a visible seam, um, but it will always keep your shoulder seams strong, especially in sweaters like cables where there's lots of weight. So there you have it, three needle bind off. 